The Phenom, The Undertaker, entertained wrestling fans for almost three decades in the WWE. Over the years, The Undertaker was involved in a quite a few emotional moments in the WWE. Let's take a look at the 10 most emotional moments of The Undertaker. At WrestleMania 28, The Undertaker won a redemption against the game Triple H after what happened in their WrestleMania 27 match. At WrestleMania 27, Triple H brutalized The Undertaker and Taker failed to leave the show on his feet despite winning the match. The Undertaker then faced Triple H for the third time at WrestleMania event in 2012, this time in an end of an era Hell in a Cell match with Shawn Michaels as the special guest referee. The Undertaker defeated the King of Kings this time as well and went 20-0 at WrestleMania. After the match, these three legends leave the show arms in arms with a huge ovation. This was truly an end of an era. At WrestleMania 27, The Undertaker defeated Triple H in an overspot match to take his then undefeated WrestleMania record to 19-0. The Undertaker couldn't leave the arena on his own as he was so beat up in the match and had to be carried away. The Undertaker and Triple H couldn't hold their emotions at backstage and break down in tears. That emotional moment of these two legends make that match more historic. At WrestleMania 26, The Undertaker faced Shawn Michaels in a streak vs career match in the main event of the show. The Undertaker defeated Shawn Michaels and ended his career on that night. After the match was over, The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels shared an emotional moment in the ring where The Undertaker showed his respect towards Mr. WrestleMania. WrestleMania 13 in 1997, The Undertaker defeated Psycho Sid in the main event to capture the WWF Championship. This was his second reign with the WWF title. His first reign with the WWF title was in 1991 but it was a very short one. After six long years, The Undertaker finally captured the WWF title again and this time in the main event of WrestleMania. At WrestleMania 32 in 2016, The Undertaker defeated Shane McMahon in a Hell in a Cell match to take his WrestleMania record to 23-1. This ended up being The Undertaker's final victory in professional wrestling. After the match was over, The Undertaker shed a tear or two in the ring and then removed his gloves in the ring as he thought he was retiring that night and even told people backstage that this was his final match. At WrestleMania 29 in 2013, The Undertaker faced CM Punk in his 21st WrestleMania match. This match was built on the storyline of Paul Bear's real life death, where CM Punk kept on disrespecting Paul Bear. After The Undertaker defeated CM Punk, the memory of Paul Bear made the dead man emotional, and you could see his eyes becoming watery. At one at stand 2008, The Undertaker faced Edge in a TLC match for the World Heavyweight Championship in the main event. 
The stipulation of the match was that if the Undertaker loses, he would be forced to leave the WWE. Edge, with the help from La Familia, managed to defeat the Undertaker, and this meant that the Undertaker had to leave the WWE. On that night, we saw what an actual retirement of the Undertaker would feel like. However, that was the part of the storyline. After taking a major bump, going through multiple tables from the top of the ladder, the Undertaker finally did his sit up in pain and left the arena to a huge division from the top. The Nature Boy Ric Flair officially retired from in-ring action in WWE at WrestleMania 24 when he lost to Shawn Michaels. A tribute segment for Ric Flair was held on Raw the night after WrestleMania 24. This segment continued after Raw went off the air and this is when The Undertaker made his way out and brought his character to congratulate Flair on a wonderful career and got emotional during the segment. At WrestleMania 30, The Undertaker faced the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar and lost for the first time ever at WrestleMania. A third and five to The Undertaker! This marked the end of his legendary the undefeated WrestleMania streak. This was a very emotional moment as no one ever thought this was going to happen. 75,000 people in attendance were shocked in unison. The ultimate thrill ride turned out to be The Undertaker's last ride. At WrestleMania 33, The Undertaker lost his second match at WrestleMania to Roman Reigns and his WrestleMania record turned to 23 and 2. After the match, The Undertaker officially signaled his retirement when he removed his gloves, coat and hat and left them in the ring. The Undertaker even brought his character after the match when he kissed his wife, former WWE diva Michelle McCool, and then did his vintage right hand race and left. This turned out to be the most emotional moment of The Undertaker.
the spirit of the Undertaker lives within the soul of all mankind.